Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ali O'Shea, International Law of Attraction Practitioner, Writer, Healer, Inspirational Speaker and Coach. Today we're going to be talking about signs that your higher self is trying to contact you. In this time on the planet, we are going through a massive awakening, understanding that we have a true connection and power to the universe. So many people have been contacted by their higher self and your higher self is really just a more evolved version of you. So let's dive right in. The first sign that your higher self is trying to contact you is if you see repeating numbers such as 11, 11 for example. You may see these numbers on the clock um, or you may see them on a receipt that you receive at the shopping mall. You may see them on a license plate or perhaps on the television. Never underestimate the power of this. It has such energy behind it and it is a surefire way to know that your higher self is trying to contact you. Number two sign that your higher self is trying to contact you. You are drawn to meditate more regularly. Meditation helps us to go within and to connect with our higher self. It also lifts the curtain between us and the outer world, allowing us to connect more freely with our higher self. Number three, connecting with your higher self also means attracting relationships into your life that reflect this and letting go of those that no longer serve you. If people start to drop out of your life or fall away from you, don't feel worried or guilty. It just means that you are vibrating higher than them. We all walk a different path in this life and we must let go of things that no longer serve us. Number four is you no longer feel threatened or worried about the world around you. Once you remember your true potential, you will no longer feel worried about the world around you or threatened by it. We are all powerful beings and once you realize that connection is there, you will be a powerhouse to do anything that you choose. It's about letting go of limiting beliefs that once told you that you were small and insignificant. Again, you are a powerful, limitless being. Remember that. Number five is you start to feel excited about life again. How wonderful is that? Once you connect to your higher self, you start to realize how fun and inspirational life can be. You may become focused and clearer on your goals. You may start up a business that you never thought you could do. You become an inspirational human being and feel so excited about life and the momentum that you gain from that will truly, truly power you through. Number six is you have more intense and vivid dreams. Awakening to your higher self means that you will have more fluid, vivid dreams and they may be sending you messages. So pay attention to your dreams that your higher self is sending you. Keep a dream journal and start to notice the messages that your higher self is sending you through your dreams that can help you on your life's path. Number seven. Number seven is difficulty getting to sleep or waking up in the middle of the night. Sometimes during our spiritual awakening, it can be hard to get to sleep, to fall asleep, or perhaps we may wake up throughout the night frequently. This is for our highest good and we should trust in the process. Unfortunately, it's the higher frequencies that keep us awake and it's your DNA upgrading. As I said, trust in the process. It is for your higher good. Number eight is that you start to pay attention to your self-talk. You no longer can tolerate negative self-talk and you start to pay attention to each and every thought. Each time you have a negative thought, you try to change it with a positive one or an affirmation. This is all progress. So keep going and keep replacing those positive, those negative thoughts with positive ones. As Abraham Hicks would say, keep reaching for that better feeling thought. Number nine is that you have the desire to spend more time alone with yourself. As you continue to connect with your higher self, 
you realize that a lot of the world around you doesn't resonate with you all of the time. It's okay to take a step back and to practice some self-love in solitude, asking your spirit guides and your angels that are with you to help you through this process. Number 10, the final one. You start to see your dreams manifesting into your reality. Your higher self is letting you know by understanding that you are manifesting your dreams into reality. You are the creator of your own reality. And once you've seen these miracles starting to unfold, more and more and more will come to you because that is the power of the law of attraction. That which is like unto itself is drawn. And once you start to manifest these miracles, momentum will ensue and more and more and more miracles will show up in your life. Remember, you are the creator of your own reality. Go out and live the life of your dreams. I've been Ali O'Shea with 10 signs your higher self is trying to contact you. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment below if you did. Let me know that you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Thanks for watching.